Hi guys and welcome back to the Pantry Demic Kitchen where I'm going to show you how to make recipes with cupboard ingredients and also recipes where you can switch and swap out the ingredients. And also we're going to do another kitchen hack video and then this one I'm going to show you how to make your own frozen veg. Now, buying fresh veg is always going to be cheaper than buying frozen uh, because there's no processing in it, you know. But I'm going to show you this quick and easy video on how to make your own frozen veg and of course I've got my essentials because if I can't go out partying I'm going to party indoors. Before we start this off, remember to follow your respective government's advice. For us in the UK, we're on lockdown, so that means stay at home as much as possible, only go out for essentials, wash your hands, and if you do have to go out, keep two metres apart. So let's get on with it, get your face down here, and I'll show you how to do it. Right, so I've prepped up my veg that I'm going to freeze today. You know, this process works with pretty much any vegetable. I'm just using these as an example, and it's what I've got. And all you've got to do is just peel the veg, wash it, and cut it up how you like. I've cut the carrots into little discs just because it's easy. You can cut them into batons if you like, entirely up to you. And again with the broccoli, just cut them into nice little florets, all roughly the same sort of size. And what I've got here is a pan of water, which I've brought up to a rolling boil. You want a nice, vigorous boil here. And I'm gonna add a good pinch of salt to that. And what I'm gonna do is add the carrots. I'll do the uh, broccoli afterwards. And then bring that back up to a boil. So once the water's boiling, what we're gonna do is blanch them. We're not gonna fully cook the veg all the way through. Uh, but we need to do this step, it's really, really crucial. Because if you were to just chuck the carrots straight in the freezer as is, they're actually gonna dry out. And also they're gonna get freezer burn. By blanching, which is what we're gonna do here, it seals in the moisture, locks in the vitamins, and they won't go dry. Now there's plenty of charts online that will show the exact times to blanch your veg. But as a rough guide for most things, you're looking at about two to three minutes. But obviously it depends on the size. And all we need to do is just test the vegetables with a point of a knife. If they go in quite easily, that's more than enough. But I'm gonna vigorously boil those carrots for about three minutes. We'll take them out and I'll show you the next step. Right, so the carrots have been boiling a couple of minutes now and just test them. Yep, they are done and ready to go. The knife's going in, but there's still resistance there, so they're not fully cooked through. So I'm gonna get these out into a colander. Keep the water boiling, because I'm gonna add the broccoli now and do the same thing. And I've just brought the colander over to the sink and immediately I'm gonna run cold water over the carrots. And this immediately shocks them into stopping the cooking process so that we can freeze them. So I'm going to crack on, finish the broccoli, do the same steps as I did with the carrots, and then we're ready to freeze. Right, so the veg is now blanched. You've got your carrots, I've got my broccoli. Make sure they're fully cooled before you freeze them. And I've got some of these little Ziploc bags, just labelled them up, and they're perfect for this sort of thing. And all you do is just kind of load it up all over the worktop, entirely up to you. Finesse was never my strongest point. Don't worry, the surfaces are clean and my hands are too. And there we have it, frozen veg. Just kind of get as much air out as you can and seal the bag up. Frozen veg, well, not frozen yet. So there we have it. There is our vegetables ready for the freezer and then you just treat them like normal frozen veg. Just take out of the bag what you need, chuck it in a pan, finish off the cooking, add them to stews or soups or whatever you want to use them for. It's as simple as that. So there we have it. This is a really simple little kitchen hack for you on how to freeze fresh veg. Try and get that out. Remember to share this to your friends and family, especially if they'll find this useful. You know, because everybody's got to kind of look out for each other now. And this is a nice, useful little kitchen tip. Thanks for watching. Remember, stay safe, stay home, look out for each other. I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video. And bye for now.